Welcome to Gallery 25, a fine art gallery located at 268 Historic 25th Street. I'm one of the members at Gallery 25, Carol Fielding, and I'm pleased to be able to show you our gallery and what we have to offer the public. There are 10 members in Gallery 25 and we're all local artists. And with 10 members we have many different styles, different media. Now, I'd like to take a moment to show you through the gallery and tell you a little bit about the artists that we have here. Each of the members in the gallery has a particular spot that is theirs. So all of the work is hung uh, in their area. This work happens to be mine. I'm Carol Fielding. My great love is actually pastel. I work in oil, watercolor, and pastel, but I, I really love my pastel work. This happens to be a pastel, a flower that was I did off of my mother's grave, actually, so it has kind of a sentimental value to me also. The next artist here we'll see is Lori Eskelson. Lori works only in oil, and she does very well and she does landscapes mostly. Lori also does this beautiful glass work. She's very, very talented. Moving on from Lori, we come to Matt Stevenson's work. Matt works a lot in contemporary. You'll notice the color schemes that he uses is a contemporary color. Matt paints with rather bold colors, which is very, very popular at this time. Next, we'll have the work of Jeff Hepworth. Jeff has a very beautiful, soft touch. He paints with oil and gives kind of a mystic feeling to his work. His work is really becoming very well accepted. This is also his work up here on, this, on the top. We have Phil Hopkins. He's our newest member of the gallery. Came in only a few months ago and he works mostly in watercolor. This is also Phil's work. This work, and also the work that goes up the stairs, is Keith Dabb. Keith paints only in oil. He is a very talented artist, and we really are proud of his work. This is uh, Doug Rides, and he works only in watercolor, and is becoming quite well known. Next we have Liz Pierce. Liz works in watercolor. She also does collage. Liz is one of the only members in our gallery that really does a lot of abstract work. Our last watercolorist is, Liz, or is Lucille Chamberlain, and this is her work on this wall. Lucille has painted for a lot of years and teaches, actually. She has several students that study watercolor under her. Now, we do have jewelry also. When we opened the gallery, we decided to open it so it would be a friendly place for everyone, so they didn't have to feel that they'd come in and have to buy a big painting. We do the cards. The pottery is done by Sharon Brown Mickelson, and she has wonderful, wonderful talent with her pottery. And I'd like to show you my jewelry that's on the back table. Okay, let's go upstairs to the mezzanine now. I'd like to show you what we have up there. Each month we feature one artist that does a one-man show in the mezzanine. It's either a member of the gallery or we also have invitational artists come in and do a show. Each year we also have the Palette Club. They have a, a small painting show up here, have for the last two years. And it's kind of fun so people can come in and see what other artists in the area do. The woodworking on the table is Joe DeRue's. He's not a member of the gallery, but his work is absolutely amazing and we show his work on consignment. We keep an, an easel and painting paints up here. So during the day when we're working, we can come up here and, and paint. The customers really enjoy coming in and watching us produce some of our artwork up here. Same as it is on the main floor, we have each uh, artist has their individual space in the basement to show their work down here. We've done a lot of work down here since we moved into this building. We still wanted to keep the very old feel, so the rock walls, we didn't want to cover those, but we did cover the dirt floor. First when we come down, we have Phil Hopkins and his watercolor work. 
Each of us have our own space. This is my space, Carol Fielding. Next, we'll have Liz Pierce and showing some of her beautiful abstract work. She does a beautiful job. And again, we have some more of Doug Ride's work down here. <clears throat> Doug does a lot of uh, architectural structures uh, as well as, as beautiful landscapes. Next, we'll see some of the oils. This is Keith Dabb. And this is Lori Eskelson's work on this wall. I'd like to point out more of Sharon Miss Mickelson's uh, wonderful pottery. Next, we have Lucille Chamberlain. Lucille works in oil as well as watercolor. And then Max Stevenson is last. Each of the artists has their uh, original work in the gallery. We also do prints. We do the gicle prints and sell them either framed or unframed. So people can buy a, a print and have it framed to please themselves the way they want it. So we really have a lot of things to sell in a lot of different styles. We really appreciate you taking this tour with us, looking at the work that we have. We're very proud of our gallery. We're proud of the fact that we can sell fine art at a reasonable price. Thank you.